Hello everyone, welcome to Certified Business Solutions where we discuss business related matters and give advice to business. Today, we will tell you what you need to know before you invest in real estate. We have seen that it is the new trend in the current years. Every, almost every person wants to invest in, the, in real estate, maybe in an apartment, in a house, uh, personal house to live, but we will let you know what you need to know before investing in real estate. How are you, Dr. Kamo? Fine, thank you, Lucy. How are you? I'm well. Yes, we have seen that uh, the banks are giving out uh, mortgage loans at 14%. Does it mean that the rate of return in real estate is higher than what the banks are giving, higher than 14%? Higher than 14%. The banks are giving loans Yes, mortgage, mortgage, loans. mortgage loans yes. at 14%. Yes. So the question is mm -hmm. whether the real estate investment yes. generates a better rate of return than yes. 14%. Yes, yes, yes. I would say it could be a yes and it could be a no. Mm -hmm. But first of all, if I can put uh, that into perspective, mm -hmm. just to explain that uh, not every other time a borrower Yes. will go for a loan mm -hmm. just because he's sure that uh, whatever he's going to invest on yes. will generate a better rate of return mm -hmm. than the cost of that loan. Okay. The interest rate that uh, someone pays to the bank, yes. it is a cost of that money. The cost of the loan? The cost of the loan okay. or money because now that's capital yes. you are accessing from the bank. Okay. So you tell the bank, give me a hundred thousand yes. and uh, I will give you something over and above that. Yes. Now, th th that, now that's what is called interest. Okay. And that's a cost to the person who is borrowing. Yes. Now for this person to be in business, mm -hmm. you need to invest this money and, and have it generate a better rate of return than yeah. the cost of that money. Yeah. So the question is, mm -hmm. if we take, if we consider the borrowers who go to, buy, to borrow money from Shylocks, yes. a Shylock will give you money, mm -hmm. for instance, 10,000, yes. and he will expect you to, to pay back that amount of money mm -hmm. within a week yes. and pay him a rate, an interest rate of that percent. Yes. Now that percent, one week. Mm -hmm. So I usually wonder when you borrow ten thousand yes. and you promise mm -hmm. that you you will repay it mm -hmm. at that percent within one week. Does it make sense? It does not make sense. Yes, because actually, if you say that percent per week, yes. what is the rate? What is the equivalent rate per year? To find out the equivalent rate per year, mm -hmm. you would say a year has got 12 months. Yes. Uh, tw 12 months. Yes. And how many weeks? Uh, it, if, if, uh, if a year has got 12 months mm -hmm. and a month has got four weeks, mm -hmm. so a year has got uh, 12 months and each month has got four weeks. Yes. So that's a total of 48 weeks. Yeah. We can call it uh, 50, 50 weeks. Yes. And uh, this Shylock person mm -hmm. has given you 10,000 lo 10, loan yes. and you are supposed to repay it at that percent. Mm -hmm. at a rate of that, per, with an interest rate of 30% per, per, mm -hmm. per week. So per year, yes. the interest rate that is, that is equivalent to that per year is 30 times 50. Mm -hmm. That is 1,500 mm percent -hmm. interest robbery. rate. <laughs> that is pure robbery. robbery yeah. But these people are, not, are usually not forced to go, and, uh, to go and borrow from Shylock. Yeah. They go, they convince the Shylock uh, person that uh, I will be able to pay. Yes. And uh, because it's a market of willing buyer, willing seller, mm. the Shylock has no problem. Mm -hmm. He will offer the, the money to the borrower. Yeah. The same thing, when people go to the bank mm -hmm. to borrow, you, you say you need a mortgage loan, yes. and the bank tells you that uh, I will offer you this loan mm. at a rate of 14% per annum. Mm -hmm. The bank is not interested mm -hmm. whether at the end of the day, you will be able to invest that money mm. for it to generate a better rate of return yeah. than 14 percent. Yes. So the bank will just give you the, the money. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, yes. is it possible for someone to get a better rate of return mm. which is more than 14 yes, percent yes, the cost yes. of loan yes, yes. for the business to make sense mm. because for any business yeah. return must be better that must be higher than the cost yes 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 now the question is mm. 
that would be the that's the ideal position every other person would want to to have a better return yes, than yes. the cost of doing that business yes but now the question is mm -hmm. is it the position that we have mm -hmm. on the ground yes 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 that is mm -hmm. what we want to know oh wonderful mm -hmm. let's take a, a hypothetical example yes that there's an apartment in somewhere in kilimani mm -hmm. or kileleshwa or mm -hmm. westlands yeah the value of that apartment, the market, the market price yes. or the market value mm -hmm. is 10 million. Mm -hmm. It is a two-bedroom apartment. Yeah. A two-bedroom apartment. And that's the actually not hypothetical. It is the actual it is the position. Reality, yeah. It is the reality, the reality on the ground. Yes, yes. If you go on Gigi mm -hmm. and uh, you search for, a, for the, for the for price, yeah. apartments for sale, yeah. In, and you specialize and you say in Kilimani, Kiladeshwa, yes. you'll see a two bedroom mm. going for a typical two bedroom going for about 10 million. Yeah. Now, that typical two bedroom, mm. the rent per month mm. is about 50,000. Yes. So, if you say mm. the rent per month is 50,000, yes. how much? Will how much will that apartment mm. have earned as in form of rent yeah. within one year? It is fifty thousand multiplied by twelve months. Yes, that is six hundred thousand. Yeah, the owner of this apartment mm. will have to pay to incur some cost mm -hmm. for him to generate this rent rental income of fifty thousand per month. There's something called service charge. Yeah that the owner of an apartment mm. pays to the property management mm. of that gated community yeah because uh, the, the this apartment for security, for security garbage collection yeah. if there's a swimming pool mm -hmm. so uh, for out of this six hundred thousand yes the, the owner has collected as rent yeah. from that two-bedroom apartment mm -hmm. he will pay about a hundred thousand mm. as service charge yes. as cost of maintaining that investment yes. so the real mm -hmm. value or the real income mm. is 600,000 minus, minus 100,000. Yeah, it that comes to 500,000. 500, yes. If you now want to calculate the rate of return mm -hmm. for that particular investment, yes. it is now the 500,000 mm. divided by 10 million yes. multiplied by 100. It will give you 5%. 5%? Yes. So the rate of return mm. for that particular, uh, that particular investment is 5%. And we have not calculated yes. that today mm. there are so many vacant units in Kileleshwa, Kilimani, the upmarket area. Yes. So when so even the income that we said uh, was six hundred thousand in a year, yeah. probably it is not six hundred thousand. It could be four hundred thousand mm -hmm. because the apartment was vacant for, for some for, few for, months. For some few months, two yeah. months, three months. Yes. There are cases that apartments have been vacant for even four months. Wow. So but we want to assume it had someone. It had someone mm -hmm. the whole year. Yeah. And that's why we have worked with a rate of 600,000 mm -hmm. minus 100,000 for maintenance cost. Yeah. We are left with 500,000. Mm -hmm. That's 5%. Mm -hmm. 5%, is it a good rate of return? Yes or no? No, it depends. Uh, it is not a good rate. It is not a good rate. Because you had, yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be higher than 14%. It was supposed to be higher than 14%. Yes. But how do you know? whether a certain rate of uh, whether the rate of return yes. is good enough or not mm. a certain rate of return from from the investment that uh, you are considering yeah. either to invest into or you have already invested into mm. the best way is something called the government bond treasury bond uh -huh. In, an investment in treasury bonds yes. is referred to as risk free investment Mm -hmm. Because you know, when yeah. you are talking about uh, an apartment, yeah. sometime it mm -hmm. can be vacant. Yes. Sometime mm -hmm. there, there may be some, some maybe there's maintenance cost, mm -hmm. you need to repaint, yes. maybe the roof is leaking. Mm -hmm. So the, the cost of maintaining that uh, apartment yeah. may be very high. Yeah. And uh, you may not be guaranteed mm -hmm. of this income, we are talking about 600,000. Yeah, because well, uh, the, the, the unit, of course, may, it may be vacant for some month. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But now for the reason we are referring to as treasury bond as a risk-free investment mm -hmm. is because there is no month that the government will not pay you. They'll pay you every and, month. And the government is not likely to default mm -hmm. on your money. Mm -hmm. It does not default. It does not default. Yes. In case it, it feels uh, it doesn't have a, a ability to pay, yes. then it can borrow more. Mm -hmm. So the government invest, investments with the government are referred to as risk-free mm -hmm. and they are used as the benchmark. 
-hmm. That is the reference point. Okay. Whether you want to, to for you to check yes. whether you the investment that uh, you are considering mm -hmm. is a is a worth investment or not. Mm -hmm. If any investment mm -hmm. is giving you a rate of return less than ten percent, yeah. which the government is giving you, mm -hmm. run away from it. <laughs> Run for your life. Run for your life. <laughs> because yes. the the investment law says, mm. and this is someone called uh, Harry Markowitz, who yes. said mm. that the higher the rate of risk, the higher the, higher the, rate, the rate of return. Of return. Mm -hmm. And uh, we say if the, ri if the risk increases, yes. then the return should also increase. Mm. And now we have set the, the bottom line mm -hmm. that the lowest the, the investment with the lowest risk mm. is the government. the government. There's no any other investment that uh, has a, has a, a lower risk than the government. So low, low risk and low return. Low return. So that's why so you are the, saying it is considered a, a low return. It is a low return, mm. and that's why you are saying yeah. you should not invest in any other project mm. which is giving you a, re, a rate of return lower that than is, that of the government, yeah. because the government has set the floor. Mm. Even me today, if you if you if you lend me a mm. hundred thousand, yes. you're not very sure mm. that I will be able to repay you. That is true. Assuming the worst happens, mm. and God forbid, mm. a road accident can happen. Yeah. So even if I'm a person of a high repute, mm. even tomorrow I may not be there. But the government will always be there. Yes. Yesterday, the government was uh, for Uhuru. Today mm. is for Ruto. Yes. But even the debts that were incurred by Uhuru's government, mm. Ruto's administration is still liable to pay. Yes, yes, yes. So the how you consider mm. is to find out is you use the treasury bond as the measure of of uh, of of, uh, of whether to measure whether a certain investment is good or not. Or not, yeah. Now, the one for apartment, mm. we have seen it mm. is giving you a rate of 5%. Yeah. And the government is giving you at a, a rate, rate of, of 10%. 10%. Yes. Now, we had talked about 10 million. Yes. The value of that two bedroom apartment yes. going for 10 million. Yes. Now, how much would you get from the bank, from the, from the government, mm -hmm. in terms of return, if you bought treasury bonds mm. worth 10 million? And the government is giving you a rate of return at ten percent. You'll get a, a million per year. A million per year. Ten percent of ten million is a million. A million. Mm -hmm. So here you have a million, mm. which is a risk-free investment. Yes. And you have uh, five hundred thousand. That is, and the risk involved there is so high. Mm. So is it worth to invest in an apartment costing ten million, and generating 50,000 as rent per year, per, 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 uh, per month, uh, yeah. or would you want to invest in a treasury bond mm -hmm. that is giving you a rate of return of 10% per annum? Well, uh, it is quite clear. It is quite clear. Yes, of Even course. Even a two-year-old yes. can answer that. <laughs> yeah. Now, the one million dollar question is, yes. Why do people, even learned people, even professors of finance, yes. they buy they buy, they buy, they buy what? They invest in apartments. <laughs> I don't want to say that people have been have been uh, brainwashed. Yes, it's something called the hard mentality. Yes. Because I'm doing, you always so, want to do. Yeah. And you don't even know the source of my money. Mm. Maybe the man, my source of money, I've received the money from. Uh, I've, I've, I've done corruption. Mm. This is a proceeds from corruption. Mm. And I want to invest this money mm. so that I can clean it. Mm. But you, without, uh, with, without considering whether it is a viable investment or not, you yes. know what I'm doing. But, but, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I'm corrupt, I'm just saying uh, as an example. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, and of course, with the, with the one million from uh, the government, yes. uh, you can live anywhere you want because Yes, 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 yes. You can mm. live anywhere you want, mm. and uh, be, 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 because, for instance, uh, instead of uh, instead of using that ten million yes. to go and construct uh, your own house somewhere, yeah. maybe in Juja mm. or in Keno mm. or in Matu. or Matu mm -hmm. somewhere, mm. uh, maybe Matu is a bit far. I wanted to us to come with the uh, with the places mm. that you can still live here in Nairobi, mm. uh, work here in Nairobi, mm. and live in the outskirts of Nairobi. Mm. Uh, so somewhere, somewhere like uh, maybe um, Gashie, mm -hmm. or the outskirts, yes, Jogo yes. Road, somewhere yes. that mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. 
you know what happens is uh, if you take a case like Juja, mm. you go buy a plot uh, at, uh, at, at a cost of maybe three or four million, mm. and assuming you develop uh, a modest house yes. at a cost of six million. Mm. So with that, with the ten million, mm. you have a modest house mm. that you can live. You, you can, you can live, live in. You can live in. Mm. That house, mm. if you choose to rent it out, mm. it would it would attract a rent of about that thousand per month. Yeah, because fifty. A similar investment of 10 million mm. in yeah, Clarence when in Lavington, yeah. it is attracting uh, about 50,000. Yes, yes. But again, you cannot compare mm. an investment in Lavington and in Juja. Yeah. Because uh, Juja is not developed. Yeah. Most places, do, they are not connected to, to internet. Mm. Now, 30,000 mm. per year, how much is that? Uh, if you say 30,000 per month mm. times 12, Three. that is 360,000. If you had chosen to invest that ten million in a in a government in a treasury bond, yes. you would be receiving one million, one million per per versus year. Versus the three sixty you're getting from Juja. Versus, versus the three sixty thousand that you're ah. getting from Juja. Mm. But uh, the now the one million, uh, it's, it's about a uh, hard mentality because mm. the Peter is doing. Mm. Paul want also to do the same thing. Yes. And now, and th that is the reason why mm. most apartments today, yes, they are on sale. They are on sale. Yes, I have uh, quite a number of uh, friends, yes. and some of some of them are our clients, yes. and uh, they have put their apartments on sale. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have not uh, publicly made that announcement, yes. but they have privately told us, in mm -hmm. case you get someone to, to buy, buy yeah. uh, please let me know. Yeah. Because I've realized mm. that there's a better way mm. I can invest this money. Mm. And we, we tell them as it is, mm. because they are our clients, yes. whenever someone approaches me and tells me that uh, if you get someone who can buy my apartment, yes. I say yes, mm. actually now that's a very good idea. Mm. Because if this apartment is for 10 million mm. and uh, you sell it, mm. you go invest in uh, treasury bonds, yes. of course you'll be getting a better rate of mm -hmm. return. So in case uh, someone had taken a loan, of course uh, you are not going to pay 10 million? You will pay more. You will pay more. You will pay more. Yeah. So for someone who had taken a loan, yes. let's take le, le, let's uh, consider this hypothetical example. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say hypothetical because it's a it real. Is reality. It's, it's, it is the reality. It is the reality. Yes. The value of the the value of the apartment is ten million. Yes. So you you go to the bank mm -hmm. and you borrow ten million. Yes. And you agree mm -hmm. that you will be paying the bank uh, a rate of interest of fourteen percent. Yes. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So fourteen percent of ten million mm -hmm. is. One million four hundred thousand. Mm. That's okay. Yes. One million four hundred thousand. And that time, yeah. that is the interest you are supposed to pay the bank. Yes. If you just take one million four hundred thousand uh, at the end of the year mm -hmm. and you give it to the bank, mm. you have not paid any principal amount. That is just the interest. Wow. It is only the interest. It is only the interest. So if every year you keep paying one one million four hundred thousand, mm -hmm. one million four hundred thousand, mm -hmm. the princip the amount that you had borrowed from the bank mm -hmm. will forever remain to be ten million, because you 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 are not paying it, you are just paying the interest. Really. <laughs> That's what it means. Fourteen yes. percent. And you are not the only when one that is confused. When you the principal amount, because I think I'm getting confused as well. Okay, let, let me let so, exactly. So if you want to 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 be paying to reduce the principal amount, mm. then ensure that you pay more than one point four million in a month. Probably you will be paying two million. So that one point four million goes for to the to 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 pay the interest for that year, mm. and then the six hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. goes to, to reduce the, the principal amount. Okay. And that's why we were saying, mm -hmm. now, assume, assuming, and not assuming, mm -hmm. because we have calculated and we have seen the rate of, the amount of money that you can generate from that investment of mm -hmm. 10 million two bedroom apartment yes. is 500,000. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, the, 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 the bank, mm -hmm. Expects you to pay them one million four hundred thousand, but the amount that you have generated from that investment that year is five hundred thousand. So you are going to look for nine hundred thousand from other sources to just pay the interest. Well. To just pay the interest. Mm. So if you want to pay principal, part of principal, mm. 
which we had said maybe you would want to pay uh, instead of paying 1.4 million, you want to pay 2 million. So you you have 500,000. Mm. So you will need you will need to raise 1.5 million. So that the 500,000 that uh, you have received as rent, mm. you add another 1.5 million, and uh, now you have 2 million you pay to the bank. And out of that 2 million, yes. 1.4 was for interest. interest. So you have only paid 600,000 mm. uh, in terms of reducing the principal amount. Okay. Okay. So now the question is, mm -hmm. is, does that mean that that is always the case? Mm -hmm. Is there a way out? Yes. Yes, there is a way out. There is. There is a way out. Okay. Hey, Fuchs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because yeah. now what matters the most is the value at which you acquire this property. The value at which you acquire the property. Yes. yes. And we have three different types of prices mm. as far as property, property market is concerned. Mm -hmm. We have something called the, the market price. Yes. And the market price uh, for that apartment we are talking about mm. is uh, 10 million. 10 million. That because, is the market price. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you go to Gigi, if mm. you go online and ask... You go uh, in, 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 on any in, platform. Yes, you'll get you, it at uh, that at, amount. Uh, yes, a typical two-bedroom, Kileleshwa, Kilimani, Lavington, mm. Westlands, yes. will go for about 10 million. Yes. That's the market price. Mm. But what about the actual price? Mm -hmm. The actual price. Yes. And I know people will be very surprised. Yes. The, the actual price. Actual price. Yes. You should say, you start from the, the cash flow that this investment is generating per year. Mm -hmm. And this two bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. we saw it is generating uh, 50,000 per year. Yes. Uh, per month. Per month. Uh, yes. Per year, we say 50,000 times 12. Yeah. We said it is 600,000. Yeah. We said we less 100,000 mm -hmm. for maintenance for cost charge, yeah. for service charge. Yes. We are left with 500,000. Yes. So, in, for you to know the actual price mm -hmm. of that property, yes. multiply that 500,000 mm -hmm. by 10. 5 million. Yes. So that the, is the real cost. That's the, the actual, actual cost. The actual price. Actual price. The actual price for that mm -hmm. is. Five? five million. Five million. But they will not agree to sell at five million. <laughs> no, yes. But at least I, know, I will. Of course, uh, someone will know whether they are being duped into something that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And the reason I'm saying five million. Yes. Is because, uh, as we said, the standard for for valuing any property, any asset, mm. is the treasury bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is the treasury bond? Yes, yes. We have now given the actual price for this property to be mm. 5 million. Mm. Because if you take that 5 million yes. and invest in treasury bonds, yes. it will be giving you 10% mm. of 5 million, mm -hmm. which is 500,000. Yes, yes, okay. And it is the same amount of money that uh, this two bedroom apartment is giving you 500,000. Yes. So that's the actual price. That is the actual price. So if you can manage mm. to get mm. a property yes. at the actual price, yes. then you are good to go. You are good to go. You are good to go. Mm. You are good to go. Okay. But still, yes. at actual price, mm. you remember at actual price we we have used the government bond, yes. which is giving a rate of return of ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. So if that apartment you buy it today mm. at a rate of five million, yes, you will still be required. Mm. And you have borrowed money yes. at a rate of 14%. Yes. 14% 14 pa 14 mm -hmm. of 5 million mm -hmm. is 700,000. And again, you are getting 500,000. And again, you are getting you are, you are, the income for the, from that apartment is 500,000. So you will still have to go back to your pocket and add 200,000. And uh, for reducing the principal amount, you, you add some more money. So even if you buy this property at a rate of five percent, at a, at a, at a rate of, at, at five million, mm. you are still not good. They, what is the meaning of mortgage? The meaning of mortgage mortgage is any loan mm. that is backed up mm -hmm. by the property as a security. Okay, okay, okay. That you say mm -hmm. uh, you go to the bank or any financial institution, mm -hmm. you tell them to extend to you some money mm -hmm. in form of loan, mm -hmm. and you tell them in the event that I'm not able to repay this money. Uh, this right. is the title of my property. Oh, okay. You can sell mm -hmm. it. Well, so mortgage uh, is turning out not to be a good idea at all. But now the question is, yes. we see people 
a banks lot, actually a lot, a lot of people a lot of people yes and, and actually the main source of income for banks mm. is not the money that we deposit we deposit there mm. is the money they lend out to borrowers mm -hmm. okay and borrowers are so many yes. that the banks sometimes they don't they are not able to meet the capacity and the needs of borrowers because mean. every other person wants to borrow money and but go uh, and uh, build a house and go and build a house and forever repay the, the loan yes 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 so we are now at uh, five percent mm. we, 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 we have said uh, even if it is five million yes that the value of that apartment mm. five million mm. and it is it is generating it is generating an income of five hundred thousand yes. in a year yes but fourteen percent of five million assuming you had borrowed from the bank is mm. seven hundred thousand mm. so you go back and uh, top up yes so market price is not a good price mm. it will uh, you will suffer losses actual price mm -hmm. You will suffer losses if you. You will suffer. You will suffer yes. astronomical, mm -hmm. exponentially, <laughs> <laughs> unless the yeah. only way yeah. is if uh, if uh, the 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 interest rates that the bank are giving you yes. is something less than ten percent. Or uh, maybe you're not taking the whole amount of loan. It's still the same. It's still, it the, still same. the same. Yeah, whether you take a full amount or, or part of it. Yeah. Now the only way, if mm -hmm. now the rate of return which is 10 percent for the and we used the one for government bonds yes. if the rate of re, of, uh, of, return. of return was higher than 14 percent mm. you would be in business but as long mm. as the cost of loan mm. which yes. is now the interest rate the bank is charging yes. is higher than the rate of return mm. 10 percent mm. it is a loss it is a loss no unless now we got the third price mm. we said there's a market price there's actual price there's actual price yeah. we, the other one is called the forced sale price forced forced sale price okay and the, the reason it's called forced sale price mm -hmm. is because uh, properties are very illiquid mm -hmm. if you want to to liquidate your property today to mm -hmm. sell it mm -hmm. it is not like shares shares they are fair, fairly liquid mm -hmm. or even a car mm -hmm. it would take you maybe for shares it would take you maybe a maximum of one week mm -hmm. for a car maybe two weeks mm -hmm. for a property yes. it can take you even two years three yes. years yes, yes, yes. now if you want to sell or float your property today to dispose it today mm -hmm. you can only do that mm -hmm. by highly discounting the price of that property if the value is 10 million mm -hmm. you can sell it at 3 million and that's what is called forced sale price. But I will, uh, what about that loss? <laughs> no, no, it, that's why it is forced. You're being auctioned. Oh, you're being auctioned. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Those are those are referred uh, those are referred as distressed properties. Distressed properties. Yes. Okay. And that's what uh, what I would encourage any person who wants to to invest in properties yes. to look for distressed properties. Are they available? Yeah. Are they there? They're very much there. Mm. If you take a national newspaper yes. every Thursday mm. towards the back of it, mm -hmm. Garam auctioneers yes. because they 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 are, known. They, they are known and they are they actually they are the largest auctioneering firm in Kenya. Mm -hmm. They usually book about uh, two pages, mm. and they list all the properties and apartments, marshonets, mm -hmm. bungalows that are on sale, even pieces of land okay. that have been auctioned, that not on sale. They have been auctioned. Yes. And the way auction, the, the way it's very interesting. Mm. I don't know whether you have ever attended uh, an auctioneering event. Yes, I have. Yes, mm. maybe you can explain to us how it goes. Well, I went. Uh, I actually went to uh, to Garama. Yes, yes. But and then uh, it's well, it, it's like in a market. They are saying uh, this property is in this place. Yes. We are. It's going for this amount. Yes. First bidder, you raise yes. your hand. Second bidder, you raise your hand. Yeah. yeah. Until they get the highest bidder. Yes. So. Your property is worth ten million. Yes. Then Garam, they start maybe at uh, any, any anyone at two million. Then uh, many hands are up, <laughs> almost the entire room. Then they go any any bidder at uh, two point five million. Now the number of hands are they yeah. reduces. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the number of hands uh, reduce. Mm -hmm. Now we go to three million. A few. Mm -hmm. By the time maybe you are going to four million, it's only it's one, one hand. hand. And yeah. now by the fall of the hammer, uh -huh. the property is sold. Your yes, property has been sold at, at four million, mm -hmm. and at a uh, price. the market value was ten million. Wow! Now, mm. let's assume you are the lucky winner. Yes. And you have bought this property at, at four, four million. million. Yes. It is. It is still a two-bedroom yes. unit. Yes. 
and this two bedroom unit mm -hmm. we said it is giving you 500 500 it is earning you 500,000 500, per, per, per annum, annum yeah. now 500,000 per annum mm. okay okay we still have a problem i can see we still have a problem because mm. you have borrowed this 4 million from the bank from the bank yes. and the bank wants a uh, 14% of uh, in, in, yeah rates. they are charging you interest rate at 14% yes. so 14% of 4 million mm -hmm. is uh, if we say 14 is 56 so you need you Another. need five, 560000 yes and this property is is uh, is uh, generating 500,000. <laughs> so you still need to go back to your pocket and pay 60,000. 60, so in short, uh, if you are, we want to develop, we use our own cash, we don't. But for this case, we are somewhere. <laughs> Even if you, you will be adding 60,000. Yeah, at least it is not uh, like the other one, you have to add uh, 900,000. Yes, yes, yes. And now you have bought it, it's called first sale. Mm. You have bought it at 4 million. Yes. But the actual cost, of that property is five million. Is five million. Yeah. Is so five you, are, million. you are somewhere. You are somewhere okay. because we all the, the 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 true measure of mm -hmm. any leave alone the leave alone the the mortgage interest uh, interest rate mm -hmm. because right now it is at 14%. fourteen percent. Yeah. A few years down the line, mm -hmm. it was at twenty four percent before the government uh, decided to introduce something called the interest rate capping. It was at twenty four. It was at 24%. And, and people that, are still going for them. People are still borrowing. And they were still investing in real estates, mm. which are giving them a rate of return of 5%. So I think that's why they are selling. No, that's why they are selling. Mm. And now, because they, most of them are selling, mm -hmm. the supply mm. of those apartments that are on sale in the marketplace, it's there high. are so many. Mm. And the developers are still continuing to, to develop. develop yeah. So when the supply is high, the demand is low. The demand is low and the price is low. Mm. There is a time you would get in an apartment for sale mm. at in Kileleshwa, Kilimani, Lavington mm -hmm. was unheard of. Mm. And if you ever could get someone, and if someone wanted to sell an apartment, mm. it would take a, it was like a, hot a few cake. months. It was like a hot cake. Mm. It would take a, just a few months for someone to go to visit his financial institution, mm. apply for a loan. Mm. So. If it were not for the financial institution taking a, a long period to process that loan, yes. someone would announce mm. an apartment on sale in Kilimani, Kilelesh, or Lavington, mm -hmm. and it would be bought that very day. Wow. But today, yes. they are everywhere right, left, and center. Mm. Even the people who own those apartments, mm. and they have not publicly declared mm. that they want to sell, mm. they are selling they are sell. privately. Wow. They are selling privately. Mm. So the the only thing, mm. if you buy an apart a distressed property, yes. for that ten million you buy about four million, yes. and you know the market value is five million. at five million, yeah. so you are good to go. Okay. Ah, oh, I get it. Well, that uh, issue of mortgage it is quite tricky. And uh, before 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 we finish, eh? Yes. Let me tell you. Mm. There's something that is called inflation. Inflation, yes. Inflation. Yes. Inflation is the persistent increase in price of goods and commodities yes. and, and services. Mm. Now, the inflation has, right now it is at 9% here in Kenya. Yes. So, if, if, you, if any investment mm -hmm. is generating a rate of return less than 9%, that's a very bad investment. The lowest rate of interest that any investment mm. rate of return mm. the lowest rate of return any investment should mm. generate right now mm. is anything above nine percent because that's the rate at which mm. the money is losing the purchasing power the money is losing power by a rate of nine percent if it is a hundred thousand today mm. by the end of this year mm. that hundred thousand will have a value of 91 shillings. Mm. 19, and, 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 yeah, if it is 100 shillings, mm. it will have a value of 91 shillings. Because the price of goods are increasing. Yes. The other day we talked about uh, if, uh, if, if, uh, if uh, 100 shillings can buy two loaves of bread today, yeah. because a loaf of bread is going at 50 shillings, yes. it, by next year it will be costing 60 shillings. Mm. So, so you cannot buy two loaves of you ca bread. You, you, you cannot buy. So any investment mm. that is generating 
a rate of return less than 9%, which yes. is the rate of inflation. Yes. It's a bad investment. Now let's go back to our property. Mm -hmm. we, we saw that real estate market, on average, mm -hmm. the rate of return for any investment in real estate mm -hmm. is 5% per, per annum. Per annum yeah. And the rate of inflation mm -hmm. in Kenya today is 9%. Well, yes. So mm -hmm. what that means, mm -hmm. for, for, for 100, shilling, uh, 100 shillings today mm -hmm. is equivalent to uh, 109 shillings by the, end of the, by the end of the year. Because we have to add 9 yes. to, get up, to adjust for inflation. For, for inflation. So 100 shillings today yeah. will be worth 109 shillings by the end of the year. Yes. But the 100 shillings that uh, you have invested in real estate, mm -hmm is giving you a return of 5%. Yes. So 100 shillings that you have invested today in real estate, yes. by the end of the year, mm -hmm. it will be worth 105 shillings. 105 shillings plus... One, it will be worth 105 shillings. shillings uh -huh. But because of inflation, yeah. the real value of 100 shillings today in a year's time should be worth 109 mm. for it to maintain, to maintain. Its, uh, its buying power. Okay. But if it is, it is lower, it mm. means it has lost uh, the purchasing power. Oh, and now, okay, okay. you get it. Yes, yes. Now, this one for real estate, mm. it is at 105. Yes. It is less than 109. Yes. So it is a loss. Your money has lost value, value. by how much? 109 minus 105 by 4 shillings. Wow. So, and that is real estate has given you a rate of 5%. Mm. Now, what if you had borrowed? Hey, don't even go there. <laughs> So it's a choice people have to make. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we can advise. Yes. We can recommend. Yes. But at the end of the day, it is, it is a, a personal, personal choice. choice. It is a personal choice. Mm -hmm. Because here at yes. Certified Business Solutions, yes. what do we do? We model, mm -hmm. we mentor, yes. we monitor, mm -hmm. we motivate, yeah. and we multiply. Yeah. And we, give, we empower people yes. to make better financial decisions. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Viewers, I hope you've learned something. I don't want to add anything on, on, on what Dr. has told us. I think the choice is yours to make. Here in CBS, we normally say, when you know better, you do better. See you next Tell time. our viewers to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe, like our, our videos, share, and leave comments. We will be glad to, re to, to reply to you.